Hi folks, I just wanted to put up a quick video to discuss something of a problem that I have noticed in my own life, and as with so much of our existence these days, it seems to revolve around social media. Because of the nature of what I've chosen to do, and the fact that I make videos and put myself out into the world as a public figure, a fair number of people, nothing amazing, but a fair audience comes to me for guidance and advice. And I often find that the root of why they do this is that although they have tens or maybe even hundreds of people on the friend lists of their various social media, they actually have no one in their real lives that they feel comfortable talking to about serious issues. Now I'm 28 years old and so the people that I talk to tend to be either my age or older. But what truly concerns me is not people of my generation, but the one that came immediately after it. The one that has grown up in a world where they had no idea what life was like without social media. As much as websites like Facebook, Instagram and YouTube are extremely useful tools for communicating with people around the world, I'm actually very pleased and grateful that I did not grow up with them. This is because I fear that the current generation, the kids coming up now, spend more time looking at screens and texting one another than actually sitting face to face in a physical room. This means that many children and teenagers aren't taking the opportunity to develop proper social skills and coping mechanisms for the real world. Feeding into this on a far more serious level in my opinion is the undeniable fact that social media rewards impulsive behavior and bad life choices. When used incorrectly, you could think of it as a giant machine which serves only to amplify the darkest parts of human nature. Bear in mind also that just like the rest of their bodies, young people's brains are still developing. And the truth is that we have absolutely no idea what effects long-term social media use might have on their brain chemistry and thought patterns. We can't know this because social media simply hasn't been around long enough for us to comprehensively study it. I cannot speak for anyone else, but personally, I would much rather not see our planet populated by self-centered, narcissistic morons who are so socially inept that they can only view the world around them through the most superficial lens. So if you are someone who happens to know some young people, or more importantly, you are young yourself, please take my advice. Get outside, do things with other people, and by doing things with other people, I mean physically, in the same space as them, not just via a screen or a voice chat. The things that make us human are like anything else in this world. If we do not conserve and appreciate them, then they can very easily be lost. Remember folks, if you like what I do here, you can support me on a monthly basis via Patreon, or you can send me a one-time tip via PayPal. For now, farewell.